Good evening, I'm Dennis Walter. And I'm Angela Hill. Plaquemines Parish President Billy Nungesser calls it his worst nightmare. Thick black oil has now reached his marshes. Nungesser and Governor Bobby Jindal got a first-hand look at where the oil has washed up in the Pasolutre Marsh. Doug Mouton shows us what they found. This afternoon in the Pasolutre Marsh, the black oil arrived. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. Uh, it's our worst fear. If this, as this moves inland, it'll destroy everything. This marsh grass area, roughly a half mile long, is filled with oil. Plaquemines Parish President Billy Nungesser says there are six to eight other areas near here, just like this one. As you can see, there's no way to stop it. You know, we've boomed, we've got crews right around the corner here booming the entrances to the marsh. A tide comes up, it just drinks in and drops it as a blanket. And that's what's happened here. This is not the oil sheen that they've been seeing for the last few days. This is actually the thick black oil here in the marsh grass at Paso Lutre. And getting this stuff out of the marsh grass isn't going to be easy. You'll have absorbent boom and skimmers in there, but it's only so much you can do. Is that right? You might take some of the big part out, but the harm's already done. And if you try going in the marsh, you're just going to mush it into the mud, into the ground to make it a long in effect. Show these guys. Well, you don't see it till you grab the cane, but it's all soaked in. Let's say the oil didn't leave. It came into the wetlands with the high tide. When the tide changed, it didn't float out. The biologists are saying five to seven days, you'll see the impact on all the greenery out here. It'll become discolored, it'll become yellow. Meaning all this grass will be dead in a week. I mean, you look back behind you, it'd be virtually impossible to get that oil out of that cane. And you look at the impact this is going to have on the marine life that calls this home. Bottom line, both Jindal and Nungesser say this is why the Army Corps needs to approve their dredging plan now. Two weeks ago, we would have pumped the very island out there. There's a good chance this would have been on that beach out there today. Instead, it's in the marsh. Shame on them for not approving this. Shame on them for not doing everything possible. And, and that's the real crime behind this. We have an opportunity to stop it, and we're not doing it. In the Paso Lutre Marsh in Plaquemines Parish, Doug Mouton, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. In response to the local leaders' push to have barrier islands built,